Okay guys, so as you can see, I've already done this eye off camera. Reason being, because I wasn't really sure what look I was going for. Did this off the whim. And now I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I did with this eye. So the first thing I'm gonna start off with is my Modern Renaissance palette. Now, this is my first time actually using this palette. I know it's been around for like forever and everybody raved about it and loved it but i myself have never tried it but the first color i'm going to be using is this one right here i'm taking this real technique um eye brush i think it's just a big fluffy brush you can use any brush that you want but the reason i'm using this because i know it packs on a lot of color this is really fluffy but it's also dead i didn't set my concealer i just put on my concealer and blend it out it's a tape shape concealer i'm using and i actually love it on my lid it really didn't crease that much at all and i didn't set it with any powder or anything so i'm just gonna go ahead and as you guys can see there that packs a lot of color i'm just patting on the color not really blending it too much I'm trying to keep it in a circular motion. I don't want it to wing out too much. I'm going really close into the inner part of my eye. So while you're patting, this brush actually blends. My next shade. I'm using another fluffy brush. This is the Morphe E22 brush. I'm just putting it like right on the tip of the brush. And then I'm just going to go right above that first shade that we put down all the way around into that same circular motion and these colors are really pigmented and they blend out really nicely so my next color is going to be this one right here and i'm using this small fluffy brush actually got this from h and i don't know if they still have it but as long as you're using a smaller brush than the previous brush should be fine so i'm just gonna go right above that pink shade right there there isn't a black in the modern renaissance so i'm just gonna use a black from this palette here this is the take me to brazil the first one that they had um from bh cosmetics I'm going to use this fluffy brush that actually comes with the Renaissance palette. The reason I didn't want to use the black first is because I didn't want it to be too harsh. And this black is really intense. So now I'm just going to go back and use all the colors that I previously used just to make sure that I don't lose any color. Gonna go under the brow with this shade right here. Just make sure that you blend out that edge. Now I'm doing my cut crease a little bit different. It may not work for everyone, but I really liked how it let that pink really just pop off the eye. So I'm actually using my ColourPop no filter concealer and this is medium dark 32 so i'm just gonna put concealer onto this and now i'm going to put my liquid lipstick also from ColourPop. this is notion again putting it onto the palette then i'm mixing in the concealer with the liquid lipstick and that's going to be what i'm going to use to cut my crease if you guys ever try this please let me know because i'm using a pink shimmer shade to cut the lid that's why i wanted to get something similar whatever shimmer that you're going to use to cut your lid you're going to look for a liquid lipstick that's close or when you mix it with a concealer it will give you kind of the same color and i'm using the one cut the lid i'm going to start off slow <laughs> Trying to make sure that I get this as even as possible. So now that we have pretty much like a basic shape, I'm taking my flat concealer brush. I actually saw a girl on YouTube do this. She just gets some clear glue and you kind of just press it together to get your brush really, really flat. And now I'm just going to try and get this as neat as possible. This one is with the shimmer and this one it is not. I'm cleaning off my brush, that same brush that we used, and then I'm just going to blend the edges. Now I'm going to go back 
into the palette and I'm going to use this shade right here. Now I'm going to use the black and I'm using this on the outer part of the eye. you put on my shimmer I'm using this Mac mix medium this just kind of helps for the shimmer to really shine put it on the back of my hand first get it all over the brush and then I go right on the lid using another Anastasia palette I'm gonna use this pink shimmer shade right here back into the brown so these are the lashes that I'm gonna be using today guys these are from Aliexpress you pretty much know that's the only lash that I use because they're so good and they look just like the ones that they're selling online for like 15 20 even $30 so yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna take my mascara. This is from Primark. I went into Primark the other day and I picked up some stuff for my nephews and my niece. Yeah, I have like three nephews, triplets. So I picked up a few stuff for them and I was surprised to see so much makeup in Primark. Like they have a lot of makeup. I was thinking about doing like a full face of Primark makeup. So let me know if you guys are interested in that because I'll definitely do that. I'm not gonna do any wing because I think the eye is pretty dramatic on its own. You don't really need a wing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and place it. so I went and finished the rest of my face because that's a different video if you want to see that video make sure that you're subscribed and you're turning on that notification bell up I review the Tarte foundation and the concealer so that's what on my face right now and that video is either gonna go up before this video or after this video not really sure but just make sure that your notification is on and you're subscribed so you're not missing any videos now I'm just gonna finish up the rest of the eye makeup I'm gonna take this eyeliner pencil this is from Colourpop nice deep brown I'm gonna use that in my waterline I don't want to use black I think black is gonna close off the eye too much actually gonna drag it onto the lash line as well take the pink shade which is this one right here and with that same brush I'm going to use the brown shade and go right under that pink we're pretty much layering the colors just the same way that we layered on top and then I just want to brighten in the inner corner I'm going to use that same shade that we use this one right here Okay guys, so we've come to the end of the video and I really hope that you guys enjoy it. If so, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. It really does help me out. And while you're doing that, go ahead and share the video with your friends and family as well. And if you're not already subscribed, what are you waiting for? Go ahead, hit the red subscribe button right below this video. Turn on that little notification bell. So as soon as I post, you're the first to know.